Hey, how's it going? And today I'm going to show you how to do something real kind of quick and easy. I've been thinking about this for a while. Of One of the things I would like to use Lightwave for is to create logos and uh, animations for businesses and things like that. In Lightwave, it's pretty easy to do a 3D logo. So you just come into Logo and here you type in whatever you want. So let's just say the I'm doing one for a company called Icon Films. Go point one. I want it overly thick and then I've had problems with uh, some of these fonts but one that seems to work pretty well is impact and I go okay and I'll show you what I mean in a minute this one comes in pretty well so there it is it comes in I'll go ahead and hit F3 to rest that let's take a look at this a lot of people might be confused by all these windows so if you click right here in that corner right there you can make it fill up the whole screen and then you hit a it's just like any software, you can have one big window if you want. And then you can scroll in, zoom in. Now you notice back here, there's some weirdness going on. A mutation. You know, it's a challenge to kind of fix some of these, but this one I found easy to fix is make sure you're on polygons. And they click the back here and I just delete the back. Because <laughs> nobody's really going to see the back, I guess. I don't know. But see, there you can see. <laughs> Nobody knows. It's our little secret. And that's it. It's that easy to create uh, kind of 3D. And you can make this as thick as you want it to be. I don't want it too weirdly thick. And then what we'll do is I'm just going to go ahead and save object as... We'll just call it logo 3. Save... And we'll just send this bad boy over to layout. I like that the programs are separated, actually. I get overwhelmed when the interfaces get too crowded. Now in here, you can put smoothing on. It's already pretty smooth and I guess double-sided if you want. Is that going to do anything weird? No. Okay. And there is our logo. Now there's 2017 different things you can do to make this look pretty cool. But I think one of the things, some couple things that come to my mind is that you want to probably look at it at an angle so you can appreciate that it is 3D. You know, if you're looking at it straight on, it's not gonna... And you want it kind of big on the screen too, right? I mean, it's your logo after all. So not, not too much of a tilt, but you know, there's no right or wrong, but you probably want it a little bit tilted. And maybe, maybe we want to go over, I'm right clicking, left clicking there like that. Okay, something like that. Now, what we can do, and this is just real quick and easy to make it look kind of cool, something kind of cool, is we can go into light and we go to our light properties. And let's just swap out the distant light uh, for a spotlight. How about how about we do that? Okay, and there I see it over here coming down. So now let's, just so we can get our bearings here, let's go to the top view and let's zoom out a little bit. Because I want to come at this thing from, let me go back to perspective. I got to see something real quick. Okay, it's over there. When you click and drag on these things, you don't have to actually click on this. You can click anywhere on the screen and drag in any direction. So I always like was clicking on these, but I realized, oh, I can just click and pull it anywhere I want to pull it. I don't even have to be on the object, which is pretty cool. Now, the other thing you can do that's pretty cool. Well, let me go back into top view first. I'm getting carried away here. Okay, top view. For some reason, I'm losing my orientation. <laughs> Where is that thing? Okay, it's over there. All right, so top view. Okay, so I want it to start over here. And I can tell just by looking, I want it pointed probably like that at first, you know, it's because it's going to be in the dark. And then let me just uh, get this out of the way. And let's say I'll drag this to the end like that. And then I'm going to want this. I know I'm going to want it to go across the back like that. And then I'm going to, I know I'm going to want it to turn back and look at that like that 
Okay, and then if I go into light view here, I can kind of see where I'm at. So that's probably higher than I want to be. So let me go back. Uh, I'm looking at it from the light perspective, right? So I want to. I know I want to come down on the uh, the Y here like that. And then I I know I'm going to want to look up a little bit more. I'm gonna, not heading, but probably pitch. There we go. Now let's see what happens. I'm coming. It's going to go up. So I need to get to the end here. And I just need to come back down. So let me come back down like that. And then let me... It's pitched back up, right? And then let's take a look at that from the light views perspective. So we're coming along the back of this thing. And that's cool. Okay, so now let's just go back into perspective. Well, we're way over here now. So let's get situated here where we kind of were before. So I'm going to punch in. And I want it to be a little bit more angled. Like that or something. Uh, let's see. I want to, I want you to, I want to be able to appreciate the 3D-ness of this. Okay, I think that's good enough. And so all we're going to do now, this is almost so easy. I hate to even do this, but we're just going to go into render, render properties, volumetrics, uh, turn that on. And then we're going to match our perspective here to the camera like that. And then we'll go into camera view like that. And then we'll check our camera properties real fast because um, I want to make sure. Oh, that's my light properties. I want to be on the camera. I want to make sure that I want to boost this up a little bit here. 4 to 12. Okay. And then I want this at 1920 by 1080. Go into VPR and see what's going on. Oh, wow. Okay. So let's, uh, we got to bring that way down here. Way, 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 way down. Oh, you know, one thing we got to do is I forgot is to turn off the backdrop backdrop here it is okay. now we can probably turn that volumetrics back up here quite a bit probably how, how far do you want to go i don't know i don't know let's see something like that okay i know looking at this already for my uh, render properties we'll go into render and we're gonna bump these up to like four 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 maybe make that a three and then uh, turn on our noise uh, filter here okay and then here's what we get we'll start it let me close this and this oh sorry this gp i forgot this gpu doesn't uh do noise filtering but this is kind of what we're i don't want the camera I want this, so I gotta click here and drag that keyframe to there. Okay. So this is what we kinda want. And then let's see what the final one looks like. So I can tell the light's too high. So I'm just gonna bring that down. I want it behind, I want it like right there. Let's see how that looks. Well, you get the idea, right? So you can just play around with it until you get something that you like. You know what I like, you may not like. I do think on that last frame, I need it to turn more. So I'm gonna, I wanna turn it more. I think I'm gonna need to turn up the light a little bit. Turn the light up a little bit. And I think I'm gonna need to put up the, uh, this right here a little bit, a little bit more, a bit more juice. <laughs> so you're just going to have to play around with it too. I'm not quite liking my angle on this. So let me, uh, let me go back into my perspective view here. You know, how different that looks, you know, I want it turned a little bit more like that. And I guess, I guess I need to move more like, where am I going that way? I want to go. Okay, and then I'm just looking for this final frame to be the one that I really kind of like. 
you know, you can change the color on this. I mean, there's so many possibilities. I do want to match my perspective again. And then I'm going to switch to camera view here. It seems to pull me out a little bit. And so what I'm going to do to compensate for that is I'm going to go on my camera and I'm going to actually punch in a little bit more here. Like that, to compensate for that. And that's it. I hope I hope this gives you some ideas for how you can get creative. And this is just kind of a base model for experimenting with how to create some kind of cool 3D animation. So take care and have a great day. And I will talk to you next time.